Hello friends. Welcome to my new Java Enterprise Programming Tutorial Series video. Today, we will discuss, how to set initialization parameters in Java servlets through web.xml. Moving ahead. Friends. Many a times there is a requirement to set initialization parameters for a servlet in order to initialize certain values. Servlets can accept any number of initialization parameters, and there are a couple of ways in which they can be set. In this recipe, we will see how it works by defining it in web.xml. Let's move ahead to NetBeans 8 and see how to set initialization parameters for a servlet through web.xml. Friends. In order to create a servlet, let's create a web application. Right click on projects tab, and go to new project. New project dialog box gets open. In the categories list, select Java web and, select web application in the projects list. Click next. New web application dialog box gets open. Enter the name of the web application as, application 4. Click next. Server and settings section of the new web application dialog box gets open. NetBeans 8 comes with a Glassfish Server 4, we will select Glassfish Server 4 as the server. Choose Java EE 7 as Java EE version. The context path of web application is, slash application 4. Click next. Moving ahead. It asks us to select frameworks. Just click finish without selecting any frameworks. In projects tab, application 4 gets created. In order to create a Java servlet, go to application 4 root, right click new and click on servlet. New servlet dialog box gets open. Enter message servlet, in the class name text box. Provide a package name, here it is com.hubberspot. Click next. Configure servlet deployment section of new servlet, dialog box gets open. Select the option, add information to deployment descriptor, web.xml. It will create a deployment descriptor having info related to class name, servlet name and URL pattern. Click finish. Message servlet gets created in the source packages, under com.hubberspot package. Open web.xml file in web pages, web inf folder. This is the deployment descriptor and helps in configuring servlets of our application. It has a servlet tag, this tag registers and configure servlet to the web application. In our case, Servlet name is message servlet and class is com.hubberspot.message servlet. In order to provide initialization parameters to this servlet, let's use a tag called as init param. This tag has two sub tags as param name and param value, which is like a name and value pair. Provide param name as user and param value as Hover spot. Thus it creates an initialization parameter for message servlet with name as user and value as hover spot. Moving to message servlet and let's see how we can access this initialization parameter and use it. Here. A servlet is configured through a servlet config object, which is associated with each servlet. In servlet lifecycle, servlet container injects it through init method. Using this dot get servlet config, we can access to instance of servlet config associated with message servlet. Moving ahead, servlet config has a method by name get init parameter. This method takes in a name of initialization parameter and return back value associated with it. Here, if you see in web.xml, we have configured an initialization parameter by name user. We store value of user initialization parameter, which is hover spot, in string variable user. 
Moving ahead. Let's print value of it in response HTML. We will output hello user in the h1 tag for this demonstration. Moving ahead. Let's go ahead and run message serve let. It starts Glassfish server. It builds and deploy application for on Glassfish server. It then runs message serve let on web browser. It prints hello hover spot. Thus it printed value of initialization parameter through its name, which we configured in web.xml. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to set initialization parameters in Java servlets through web.xml concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.